How's it going, everyone? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Higurashi When They Cry, Chapter 6. And yes, this is quite a sight to behold. We are currently in a punishment game, probably the best and hardest hitting one yet, in my opinion, that is canon. L let me let me preface that one first. And, uh, wow. Good thing we didn't lose, am I right? Jesus Christ. So that's that's all that's really going on here is that we're at the uh, Angel Mort food deal that I guess we saw in a couple of chapters. Chapter two, I know for sure. Maybe they referenced it in chapter five, maybe? Well, either way, we've seen the event before and some different occurrences are obviously going on here. So let us see how the rest of the punishment game goes. <laughs> Again, really glad we did not lose. まったく悔しいですわね。いくら罰ゲーム well, I guess I'm messed up. Completely, even. ほら、ほら、レナ。いつまでもハウハウしてないで席に座れ。負けた連中にサービスしてもらうのが勝者の特権なんだからよ。ハウ。今日は誰をお持ち帰ろうかな。ハウ、ハウ。空、上とでさ
ずるいと言われても No, 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 no. You guys are children. You can't participate. Tomita kun and Okumura kun were standing behind Kamida kun. Now that's bullshit. You guys were about to kill us. うーん。なんだか面白い展開になってきたね。どうするけいちゃん。どうするも何も俺にどうしろと。よしよし。亀田君に富田、岡村。そこまで言うなら、今日の勝者の権利をかけて、けいちゃんとレナに勝負を挑
it looks like the game is going to be either a speed eating or a competitive eating contest. The waitresses checked in or checked with their manager and started bringing in the desserts. The two of my underclassmen, Kamida Kun and uh, Coach Rena and I, sat at a table together. A horrific amount of desserts was brought before us. I wanted to enjoy watching the cute waitresses placing desserts on the table, but right now I was in a fighting mood. I had no time for that. The audience surrounding our table seemed to have grown excited too. I bet it didn't even cross their minds that they would see a serious battle at Angel Mort today. But they didn't care, as long as it's fun to watch. さて、制限時間内にどれだけのデザートが食べられるかの勝負だよ。あは、タイムリミット。あらかじめ各メニューごとに重さは出してあるからね。食べ終わった後に食べた総重量で勝負をつけよう。I'm pretty sure Kamida just won this. Isn't that like his thing? When the words competitive eating came up, Kamida kun smiled evil. Yep, there we go. Damn. How is it that I can remember this fucking, like, character from Chapter 3? Literally three chapters ago, but I can barely remember the plot. Damn it, Kamida-kun had that advantage. Damn it, having two stomachs for a competitive eating contest was an absolute advantage, too. I underestimated her. Rena can overcome physical impossibilities once she goes into Kiyut mode. She might even be able to eat food that's heavier than herself. He's been absolutely serious and weird ever since he showed up. Like, he's never been him, his normal self. He's just been hyper-focused and pedophilic this entire time. I guess nothing's new, but I can see a black aura surrounding him. Which I found very intimidating. The glint from his eyes, or from the eyes that shone from behind his lenses, was sharp enough to pierce an iron board. Damn it, he was in maid mode, which is equally as strong as Rena's Kiyut mode. Shit, I was the only one without any advantages. Ready? I wasn't ready emotionally, but Mion started the game without hesitation. Damn it, there was no turning back. I had to do this. There were many kinds of desserts before us. Some were easy to eat, and some were not. So I had to get the dessert that's the easiest to eat before anybody got it. What about the yogurt parfait? I'm not, I'm not yelling. But of course everybody seemed to be thinking the same thing. Everybody reached out for the same dessert as fast as they could. A white light flashed in front of our eyes and the parfait disappeared. My hands clashed with the others in midair. <laughs> Rena took the parfait. She was literally as fast as lightning. Damn it, I knew it. There's no way I can beat Rena in the opening move. Rena took the parfait like a frog catching a fly with its tongue and swallowed it in a single gulp. She did all that in seconds. She's usually gentle and calm, but she's a totally different person right now. Really, it's terrifying. I see. I now understand why people say women always have room for dessert. I don't I don't think that's what that means, Keiji. But in the special environment of Angel Mort, <coughs> excuse me, Kamida kun wasn't far behind Rena. He grabbed a fruit parfait and swallowed it as if drinking beer from a mug. It looked very dynamic. <laughs> 
Tomita-kun and Okumura-kun look at the extraordinary techniques Rena and Kamita-kun are displaying, but they seem to be very calm. They knew their advantage. As long as they kept a steady pace, they could eat more and eat faster than anybody else, because there were two of them. Rena and, Rena and Kamita-kun were eating very fast, but they might slow down in the middle, so this was going to be an unpredictable race. Son of a bitch, I won't lose this game. I shoved my dessert into my mouth and kept eating, kept eating, I just kept eating. Ow. Damn it, my mouth got extremely cold when I swallowed a ball of ice cream. How could the others do this so easily? Hmm? There's an idea. I should melt it first. I could use some kind of heat to melt it first and then drink it down. Plus, it would also be easier for my stomach to take when it's not so cold. But how should I melt it? It would take too long to use body heat, and I didn't have any other source of heat with me. No, damn it. He was one step ahead of me. I could order hot coffee too, but I'd still be one step behind him. I'd have to come up with something to melt my ice cream faster than hot coffee. What is this? Why are we thinking outside of our body? Keichi-kun held his head, screamed that line, and bent his neck backwards. When he gets like this, he always speaks everything that's on his mind, and it's very fun to listen to- who are we- who are we following right now? But I had to concentrate, I needed to win this game. I was going to keep eating as much as I can and take all the adorable girls home with me. What are all these fucking sound effects? I was having so much fun. Oh, this is Rena. Oh my god, that's right, this is Rena's fucking story. <laughs> I was so into it. I was so thrilled that I felt like my heart was about to burst. I might have been acting totally uncute, but I didn't care, exactly because I was having so much fun. Mi-chan always comes up with such extraordinary games. soriko chan loves to play pranks. Rika-chan is very sneaky, but it's impossible to hate her. And Keichi-kun is always so funny. I enjoy every day. I wish I could express how much I really do enjoy them better than by saying how happy I am. Sometimes I feel- I even feel anxious because I enjoy every day so much. There is as much misfortune and pain as there is happiness and pleasure in this world. And I know very well that they all come to you regardless of how hard you try. You'll have happy days regardless of how hard you try. You'll have unhappy days regardless of how hard you try. But that doesn't mean that you don't need to try hard. I can try to make my happy days even happier and last longer. In the same way, I can try to make my unhappy days happier and end faster. I struggle very hard to achieve that, and that's why I'm going to enjoy the happy days I have now as much as I can. I must not take them for granted because they won't last forever. They won't. One day, all of a sudden, these happy days will come to an end. I know it. That's why. I was trying to enjoy the happiness I received today so that I wouldn't regret it. Even if the world ended tomorrow. I noticed my hands stopped moving while I was thinking about these things. When spending time with my friends, I feel so happy that my heart might burst. I even love doing the punishments. They're fun for me. I have friends. I have a place where I fit in. I have time in which to be myself. I have a me that I love. I love everybody. I love Michan, chan chan Rika-chan, and Keichi-kun. I love everybody in my class and everybody in Okonomiya. おお。レナの手が止まったね。さすがにあのペースじゃ長続きしないかな。チャンスだよ。岡村。今こそ竜軍さんを抜かすんだ。無駄無駄無駄。エンジェルボートベイ、この俺に勝とうという時点で蜂
God damn, this man is committed. I had left the table. <laughs> I was just so happy. I didn't care who won or lost this match. Of course, it's more fun when I go crazy to try and win, but I could never be happier than this. If I could seal this happiness in a piece of crystal, I'd carry it around me with or er, I'd carry it around with me in my pocket, excuse me. I'd use it as heat to ward off the cold of hard days that are certain to come to me. I know they will. And they're not truly happy when you feel happiness, or you're not. And when you're bored with happy days and don't even realize that you're happy, that's when you've, you've achieved true happiness. You only truly feel happiness when you're in a freezing cold environment. Uh, that's the only time your heart can feel the warmth of even a small happiness. On my way to the bathroom, I saw a waitress and a customer arguing at the register. A customer was a woman. The waitress was trying to explain that the lady needed a ticket to get a seat because the restaurant was holding an event today. But the lady, saying she didn't know, was still trying to get a seat. After a while, the store manager was called and started apologizing to the lady. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Rena? The lady's eyes met mine. I guessed who it might be when I heard the voice, so I was prepared. Oh? I held out my hand for a high five and she gave me one. <笑>聞いてよ、レイナちゃん。ひどいのよ。今日はチケットがないと入れないとか言うのよ。そうみたいですね。まあ、仕方ないわね。ねえ、お店には入れなくてもお土産にケーキくらいは売ってくれるんで
That's so strange. They just have a difference in their sil or their vowel in their name. Hmm. All right, let's jump into our one tip here. Business card. Rena, height 168 centimeters, B89, W60, H87. I know, I, I know what those are. Those are our three measurements. Hobbies, I'm interested in indoor gardening. I want to make tea with the herbs I grow. I always enjoy your funny and interesting stories. We should go out somewhere next time in private. Gentlemen's Club Blue Mermaid Private Manager Rena Mamiya. Ooh, the Mamiya name. That's it. That's our tip. All right, whatever. Thanks, game. Thank you for that, I guess. That tells me literally nothing about her. Except maybe her, like, last name there. <laughs> Rena ate a massive amount of desserts, too. But her stomach seemed to be just fine. Oh man, we're getting hurt. Sadako had poked me very hard in my bloated stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sadako and Rika-chan grinned mischievously upon hearing that. A chill ran up my spine. Why are they smiling like that and walking towards me so gleefully? Hey! <laughs> 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 Rena joined Sotoko and Rikachan in torturing me. We were still making a lot of noise outside the restaurant. I desperately blocked my stomach from their attacks, but someone else hit me from behind. あ、なるほど。ケイちゃんとその愉快な Oh no. Damn it, I was just getting over it. She just reminded me that I'll never be able to get married. それはそうと。今日は皆さん、だいぶ大暴れしたらしいですね。まあね。いつもの部活になっちゃった以上。店内とんでもないことになってましたからね。お姉も責任を感じたようで、みんなにまじって掃除をやってます。やっぱり私たちも掃除に加わった方が良かったんじゃありませんの？あ、それはお気遣い無用です。さすがにお客様に掃除はさ
こういう時だけ女どもは結束しやがって I hate girls they get along so easily just because they're girls it's the same with us guys in the end we ended up making a lot more noise even dragging Shion into the mess this time Shion あんたいつまでサボってんの雑巾どこやったのありゃいけねじゃあ私はもう戻りますねみーちゃんお掃除まだまだかかりそうえ何みんなおじさんを待っててくれてるわけ余計な気使わなくていいってまったくもミオン looked happy to see us waiting for her but she always says the opposite of what she thinks I wonder when she'll grow up to be able to just honestly say thank you. Baka, Nakama da ro? Oar ma de matte de ario. Lena tachi mo isho ni o tezdai de kireba i no ni ne? Gomen ne? Da gara i te! Kyo ne? Sion no shigoto oar no matte kara, hisa shibri ni o kinomia no iye ni kaeru koto ni shita no. Da gara, honto ni dai jobu. Kimochi dake de mo kansha suru yo. Ara! 本当にいいんですのなんだか悪いですわねうんなんか悪い気がするかなこの人は大勢いるから大丈夫だよ風が冷たくなる前にみんな雛見沢に戻りなわかりましたのですみーお掃除ファイトおうですおうありがとねじゃあケイちゃんお嬢様方のエスコートをよろしく。Oh, 100%! 途中で視覚に襲われないようにしっかり護衛するんだよ。Looking around, I didn't see any ladies who needed an escort. I felt more like I was the one who needed protection. Anyway, we said our goodbyes, making it easier for us to end the day and go home. じゃあね、みーちゃんまた明日ねおうまた明日ねよっしゃ行こうか !We waved at Mion until she went back inside the restaurant. And after that, we all got on our bicycles and left Okinomiya. Was that it? Was that this section? Oh no, it's just getting sunset. Thank you, Skybox. On the way home, we talked about how exciting it had been today. Excuse me, and it looked like everyone was still fired up. We had the horrifying punishment and the competitive eating contest. Which turned into an unprecedented battle involving all the customers in the restaurant. And after that, everything got crazy and messy. At first, the waitresses didn't know what to do, but after a while, they ended up joining in, and we had a blast. いやいやしかし俺の演説もなかなかだったろあの時は店全体が俺の味方だったよな圭一は生まれる時代と国が違ったらひょっとするととんでもない人になってたかもなのですこんな口先男がですのどこの国に生まれてもろくな人間にはならないと思いますでございますわねあと100年も早く生まれていたらお札になっていたかもですよ。ケイチさんのお札なんてなんだか貧しいですわね。きっと200円札とか300円札とかそのぐらいの数でしたよ。I mean, at least we'd have worth. Sadako and Rikachan kept up their continuous chatter. I was a bit tired after the day's events, so I just listened quietly. I noticed the wind was getting colder. Our shadows were getting longer as well. Sadako and Rika chan had still had a lot of energy left, but what about Rena? She'd been very quiet. Maybe she also had a stomach ache from eating too much. I looked at Rena to see. However, I was wrong. Rena was. well, but I didn't really know how to describe it. She looked very satisfied. She looked like she really did have that much fun. She looked like she was as happy as she ever could be. I could tell that, or I could tell all that without her saying a word. When I looked at her, it made me realize that the word fun wasn't enough to describe what we did today. Today, 
明日や明後日もあればいいのになってくらいにさそれはレナも同じかな今日のお店の中での時間だけが永遠だったらいいなって思ったおお素敵なことを言うなケイチ君は思わなかったレナ didn't notice that I had made fun of her I might have been a little tactless Suddenly I regretted having said it いや俺も同感だよでもねケイチ君別に今日だけが最高に幸せってわけじゃないんだよ A cool wind blew through her hair. She smiled at me, and for some reason, she looked very mature. Her appearance made my heart skip a beat. Watashi tachi no hinami zawa de no hibi wa, do no ichi nichi da te, kake gae no nai, taise tsu de steki na, shiawase na ichi nichi nan da yo. Tato e, bukatsu ga onagare ni na cha te, taiku tsu na ichi nichi da ta to shite mo, ne? Lena wa, otona na kangae kata ga dekiru nda na. <laughs> そんなことないよ。本当はまだまだはしゃぎ足りない。興奮がまだ冷めないだけなのかもね。Rena laughed, and that made me laugh too. Sidiko thought we were laughing because we said bad things about her, and she started bugging me about it. Once again, we made a lot of noise like we always do. では、僕とサトコはここでお別れなのです。リカ、もう少しご一緒してタバコ屋さんで曲がってもいいではありませんの豆電球が切れたのを忘れましたですか豆電球がないと寝る時に真っ暗になってしまいますですよそそれは困りますわねあ牧野さんの雑貨屋さんならここでお別れだねこれ以上行っちゃうとどんどん遠回りになっちゃうからね。Makino san's general store. Oh, right, that's where it is. If they wanted to make a stop at the store before going back to the shrine, turning here would be the quickest way. So, Ka, Jana, Rika chan ni Sadoko. Mata a shtana. Mata a shtana no desu. So, let's do this, wa. Kate san ni Rena san. Hm, chan ne, ftari tomo. Bye bye. Rika chan and Sadoko waved at us many times, excuse me. And then took the narrow path through the field. Once the noisy girls were gone, it went especially quiet all of a sudden. It made me feel even as if the sun had set in an instant. I could see my house by now, which everybody called the Mybura Mansion. I didn't notice it earlier because of how fired up we all were, but my stomach was about to burst. The growling in my gut felt like thunder. My body must have been paying the price for me acting like an idiot earlier. There was no way I was eating dinner that night. I'd need to tell my mom before she started cooking. But before anything, I had to get to the bathroom. Ugh, my stomach was churning. Oh boy, it really didn't sound good. We got to the place where I'd always meet Rena in the morning and say goodbye in the evening. <laughs> We need to shit. すまん。お腹を壊したかもしれない。おとなしく休むことにするよ。ケイチ君もまだまだお腹の鍛え方が足りないかな？かな？レナだって俺と同じくらい食べてるはずなんだぞ。一体その細っこい体のどこにあれが
昨日も今日も楽しかったんだもんきっと明日だって楽しいよこんなにも毎日が楽しいとなんだかある日突然転びそうで怖いよな<笑>転ぶ時はどんなに注意してても転ぶよだからいつ転んでもいいように思いっきり今を楽しむのが正解だと思うなそうだな今を精一杯楽しむのが正解だなじゃあねケイチくんおばさまとおじさまにもよろしくねさてレナはまだまだ遊び足りないからはうんまた宝の山に宝探しに行こうかなまだ遊び足りないってのかつくづくタフなやつだな負けたぜどうよかったらケイチくんも一緒に来ない新しい山があってねまだ全然発掘してないの何かとってもかわいいのが見つかるかも悪いけど俺はパスするよそれになんだか雲が重たくなってきたみたいだしなレナも今日はおとなしく帰宅した方がいいんじゃないかはおこういう素敵な気分の日にはねきっとかわいいのが見つかるんだよだからちょっとでも行ってみるねえへへ I felt sick enough that I didn't feel like going with her. If I felt better, I would have gone treasure hunting with her for sure. She didn't want to go home yet because she didn't want the fun day to end. That's how exciting I felt too. I got that. Zara, Kai no Gatara, Zehi Misa de Creona. Jane, bye bye. Are we going to follow her? Yep, there we go. Keichi kun waved over and over as if he didn't want to say goodbye yet. But after a while, he was gone. Well, I had to go too because I was gonna go treasure hunting. I love cute things. I had such a wonderful day today that I'm sure I'm going to get lucky at treasure hunting. I definitely will find some wonderful treasures. I pedaled my bicycle with determination. My house was nearby, but I took another street that led to the damn construction site. It might have been okay to go home just then, but I hesitated to go since I didn't want to be seen.、Hmm. I had so much fun today, I, and I wanted to continue feeling happy as long as I could. It was already getting late, but I felt like it was getting dark faster than usual. Just like Keichikun said, the clouds in the sky were growing darker. It might start raining hard. Stop it, Rena. You had so much fun today. You have to stay happy as long as you can. I'm happy. I enjoy every day. Rena, say it. Say the magical words. <sighs> Don't be embarrassed. You're not dumb or anything. I might be able to enjoy every day even more if I were dumb. If so, dumb is what I'd want to be. <laughs> There, I said it. I'm sure I can find something cute. As long as I believe it's cute, anything can be that way. I should fill my heart with happy memories of today and yesterday. I should look forward to the happiness I'm going to receive tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're going to have to stop it here. Okay, so that wild, like, completely out of nowhere prediction that I threw around earlier, I feel so much more confident in. She's wanting to be dumb. We find a character that may fit that description, and she could just be copying dumb characters. She's just trying to, to work on this personality. But why? It's obviously the fake personality that she's using as a front. But why? You know? Why? That's my prediction. I feel like this is the first time that I've really started considering how a character actually is in this game. Usually, it's about the plot. And what will happen, and why things happen the way they did, and who is the culprit, and whatever else. But now we're actually focusing on one character. I guess maybe you could say that, oh, I thought about Mion and Shion, but eh, whatever. Anyways, thank you all for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy shit, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.